This leaf would probably be disregarded by a lot of people, but not to me, because I can see the whole world in that leaf. My name is Dr Willard Riggan, I'm very proud to say Dr Willard Riggan MBE, creator of the smallest sculptures in history, which I'm proud of. I was born to do this because as soon as I saw something small I was fascinated with, as far back as I can remember, coming from my background, autism, that enabled me to find me, and I found me in the microscopic world. I was five, six years old, found my dad's razor blade, and I broke a piece of razor blade off with a twig, held it in my hand, and I started sculpting little houses, building a whole village for ants. From an early age, I used to believe that small things were important, because I knew that there was another world that we disregarded the world we couldn't see existed. I lived in that world. It became me. It became my voice. It became who I am today, the world's greatest micro-artist of all time. Some of my sculptures are so small they can fit in the eye of a needle, a smallest sewing needle. I've tried different types of brands of phones, but they've never, ever been able to photograph my work the way our po phones did. That phone was made for me. <laughs> I've never seen a phone with such a great camera. Sometimes I go on little walks, I pick up leaves and photograph leaves so I could see the veins in the leaves. So this phone has caused me to have a, a bit of an obsession. Just because you can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I'm excited for people to discover the microscopic world. So if this encourages people to start to have a look closer and look at the smaller things in life in a spectacular way. Sharing my work with the world is something that I've always wanted to do anyway. Once I've created this work, it doesn't belong to me anymore, it belongs to the world.